I'm Kevin Kelly, uh, I'm the Partick Thistle manager and the uh, Scotland national team manager as well. I've been involved in the sport about 18 months um, to two years. Uh, I've seen incredible, incredible things in the last 18 months and some real you know, things that I've been taken aback with. It's been great. It's been really, really good for it and from a personal perspective. It's not a specific or gender spe specific for that matter. Um, you know, we have um, two, a, a young girl, Kelly, who's really coming through. Um, we have a uh, young woman, Becca, who is unfortunately injured at the moment, who has been part of the squad as well. So, you know, we, I've, got, I've got kids that, you know, at the age of 10, working to come through and be part of the squad, hopefully in years to come. Um, and I've got guys and girls of you know 40 who are coming, kind of feel that they're coming to the end of their career. But this has given them a new, a new lease of life, and hopefully it will take them forward. The game's played in 25-minute periods with a 15-minute uh, break at international level. Um, it's played on crutches if you're outfield, and you must only have one arm in use if you're playing in goal. So it, as you can see, it's a difficult thing for the goalkeepers, you know, to use only one hand when you're defending such a big area. But also for the outfield players on crutches, you know, it's very demanding. You can't play outfield unless you're on crutches. So if you have both uh, lower limbs, then you need to become a goalkeeper. Um, and it, it's ironic because with the guys on their crutches, if the ball hits off their crutches, it's classed as a handball. So it's challenging for the guys and. I, I've seen it, you know, some of, the, some of the guys are getting frustrated, but that's the things that we're trying to work on with the sport, you know, it's been really, it's been really helpful. They play on a, a kind of seven-a-side uh, pitch, I would say. Um, it's about 60, 60 yards long by probably about 30 yards wide, you know, whereas you've got 100 yards minimum with a full-size pitch with, you know, about 50, 50 yards wide. So it is, it is a, a smaller scale, but in crutches you'll see as the day goes on that uh, you know it's very very challenging we'll go through into the court in there and you'll see the guys working hard and after a couple of runs you'll certainly see some rosy cheeks i'll tell you that we played our first international in october down in largs and it was a great success and thanks to the players and the work that was done in behind the scenes that you know italy have came and says listen we, we would like to be a part of you know, your progression, we would like to invite you over. So when we heard that, that the invitation was there, I thought it was important that we took it up because to have connections with such countries that have been established in the sport for so long, that when we are setting out, that I think it's good to have partners like that, you know. When we first started, we played in an English league with teams like, you know, established teams like Man City, Everton, Portsmouth, you know, teams that aren't well known in England, you know, as they kind of top dogs as you would say. But uh, but these guys came together in February last year um, as, a, as a team. When you start these things there is challenges that are put in front of you but there's certainly the barriers have broken down, they've been excellent. Looking forward I think you know if we can get another two teams hopefully with Dundee United coming on board and one or two others in the pipeline then you know we'll get a league started and make it competitive in Scotland. The staff and, and myself had a conversation you know a week ago about what our targets were for year on year but I think if we were to if we were able to compete in a major tournament and you know have that feeling of standing there with a national anthem and all the players and hopefully some of the some of the and parents or their families, you know, coming along to see them would be a real proud moment for me.